when you think of a business, you may think of strategy, a plan, funnel, a website. Maybe you think about employee processes or sales, fulfillment, product market fit. There's no shortage of variables to consider. Now, today we're gonna to talk about one of those variables, and that's something called a customer avatar. On the flip side of that, we're gonna look at a anti-avatar. Inspiration came from Russell Brunson's book called Traffic Secrets. We've taken a lot of inspiration from that book, so we're gonna look at the inputs necessary to create a good avatar and how it integrates into all the variables a business can contain. Let's get into it. What's going on? I'm Logan Skies, and in this video, we're gonna address how to leverage generative AI tools like ChatGPT to accelerate your workflow and build out strategic deliverables for your business. The same types of strategic deliverables that consultants get paid tens of thousands of dollars and weeks, if not months, to produce, you can do in a matter of hours now using these new tools and using the method we're gonna get into here. So let's dive into the venture map. All right, so I'm in the venture map now and we're gonna look at our strategy section. Now in previous videos, we've covered a few other deliverables like the business model canvas. We've looked at our value proposition canvas. Now we're gonna get into our avatars. These are rough drafts, and to show you how this can go any number of ways, here is our archive board. We've got all sorts of avatars that have been produced, drafted out. Here's some of our old school ones. You gotta like this one, Fitness Phil. Now, I'm showing you this because there's very few wrong ways to do it. In fact, if you were in a, a rush, you could do it with just a photo and just a post-it note, uh, capturing a few details. I'm gonna show you some of the ways that we do this. When using ChatGPT to accelerate this workflow, you're gonna want a summary of your business, something that is about a paragraph long, and GPT can help you make this. Just ask it questions and uh, what it needs from you in order to give you a good summary of your business. You can also ask things like, I'm wanting, I wanna make a customer avatar for my company. What are the variables should I consider when making this? And then you can say, what information do you need from me in order to build this out for my business? If it'll give you a block on that, you can say things like, give me an example of what it would, you would need from me in order to do this. So using that word, give me an example, oftentimes can circumvent any block you encounter. For us, we've combined a few different schools of thought into this and are still working to tighten this up. But basically we have three sections, profile, information, and emotional. I think we're gonna consolidate down the emotional space a bit. In essence, we have demographics, psychographics, we've got fears, goals, uh, the competitors, potential objections, their bias and decision-making, jargon they use, dominant emotions, these things. Now, you can flush out multiple different avatars for your business. I used to be of the school of thought that says we should only have one, right? One ideal customer, eat for, for a service. Now, a lot of companies have multiple products, multiple services that will serve different customer segments. So within the thinking of a specific offering, I think it's helpful to flesh out multiple avatars. That's where I'm currently at in thinking because unless you have a lot of evidence to support your assumptions and to support your claims, these are really just best guesses. And over time, we'll refine and dial in to these avatars based on the data we find in the market. Now, another thing that is helpful is anti-avatars. We got Fred here. Fred is someone that we don't want to serve. The jargon he uses is old school. This is how we've always done it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. His goals are to keep things going the way that they always have been done, avoid change. Websites that he visits, none. He does not trust online information. Um, he's resistant, he's skeptical, he's cautious. This is a example of the type of person we know we're not gonna be good at serving. And it's helpful to know that, to have that polarity. 
And we do the same thing here with three variations. GPT can make all of these. There's a million and one of these online you can use. If you want to use our templates, we have a number of free templates that you can use. If you also want our chat GPT prompts, we're putting together a checklist on our website of all of the core deliverables you would need in order to go to market, at least the same deliverables that we provide to our clients. Here's our third guy here. Opinionated, not open to new ideas, unwilling to take risks, etc. My way or the highway. I know best. I've always done it this way. These are the types of people that we know we're not going to be successful with in a professional engagement. Next, we're going to look at offers, but that'll be in the next video. Uh, that's all the time we've got for. If you want to produce an avatar for your business, I highly recommend it. The book Traffic Secrets does a great job in one chapter breaking that down. There's another couple of resources you could access the one page marketing plan course has a, a great section breaking down avatars ultimately try not to overthink it you don't have to pay any money for books or courses in order to do this you can get a free venture map template you can use chat gpt for free you can even get the images for free as well by using a tool like dolly 2 or midjourney if you have questions about the prompts that we've used to get these avatars are the prompts that we use, a series of prompts, you know, stacking all of those prompts to get avatars for our clients. Then just drop a comment below, or you can go to the link in my bio. You'll find a place on our website where you can access. Otherwise, if you found value in this video and you'd like to find out more about the sequence of strategic deliverables we use with clients to build out their venture map, you can subscribe and you can let me know that you like it by hitting the like button, telling me you want to see more of this content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.